Hello, dear viewer. Uh. With over 700 champions of varying rarity in raid, you have a huge selection of heroes to choose from. But do you really need them all on your account? And which ones are the best? In this video, I'll show you my picks for the best epic quality champions, creating a tier list of accessible and versatile champions. Some may find this top list provocative or trivial, which we can discuss in the comments. Most importantly, I'm going to give you a life hack on how to get some of the top champions for free. Let's dive in. First, not at the top, but just chronologically, is the Geomancer. Yes, I decided to start with the top HP burner. Aside from his menacing appearance, what the dog doing? he has simply fabulous abilities, as he imposes a 50% accuracy penalty on A1. His second ability removes or steals bonuses from the target under the effective burn, and also reduces the recovery of the third ability if he kills the target. On A3, he steals the opponent's turn meter and also applies HP burn and weakness, but the trick is in the passive. He reflects some of the damage he takes on enemies and reduces the damage he takes on allies. This is the most sought after epic today, but it needs to be properly equipped, right? It's recommended to equip a champion like this for speed, accuracy, defense, and health. It couldn't be simpler. You can mix and match sets as he is not too picky. From the sets used, speed and nimbleness, accuracy, well, the reaction set. There are many builds for the champion, but these are the main and tested ones. But alas, he cannot be obtained except from shards. Then there's Tarol, a versatile offensive champion with strong debuffs, and we are giving him away via a bonus link in the description. When you create an account, pick up Tarol and the second attack epic Aina at level 25. But let's talk about the champion. On A1, he gives an attack debuff, A2 gives a defense penalty, and sleep when the target is under an attack debuff, and A3 cuts 50% of the enemy's turn meter and stuns when the turn meter is zero. A must-have champion that needs to be properly equipped, but how? From the sets, I recommend lifesteal, speed, accuracy, perception. And the set of characteristics here is a little bit specific. Since he has cool debuffs, we give him accuracy and speed. For survival defense, and to deal damage, crit chance, and crit damage. Next up is the Demoness Allure, the perfect champion for controlling the turn meter. However, she is better suited for late game use as she needs to be properly equipped. On A1, she reduces the enemy's turn meter by 25% with each crit, gives enemies a defense debuff, and on A2 and A3, sleep ignores 50% of the target's defense. With her extra crit chance, she can increase her equipment to 70%. From the equipment sets, speed and agility, health steal, and accuracy fit well. As for the parameters, it's even easier. You need accuracy, speed, health, and and crit chance. A simple and useful epic that is very easy to equip, and you could get it either by summoning shards or with a newbie promo code. Here's the promo code that all newbies can enter to get the Allure Champion. For added motivation, you can create a new account by using the link in the description, get two other champions from the selection, and then enter the promo code to try Allure out for yourself along with other champions. Do you even need her on the account? And can you, the viewer, understand her role in the team? Hi, Katoon, one of the top accelerators for beginners, but the benefit here is different. She has a strong speed aura and good abilities. A3 cuts the enemy's turn meter, A2 gives a speed buff, and on A1 she has a speed debuff on the enemy. A cool set of skills. Overall, a proven speed filler for the team and can even be used in PvP if there is no suitable champion with a good speed aura. Equipping Katoon is extremely simple. Take the speed, accuracy, or perception set. And for stats, we're looking for speed, accuracy, defense, and health for survivability. Any player can obtain the champion within the first 30 days of logging in or by summoning shards. Mordecai, the second in the selection of top HP burners, and he's very easy to get. I'll show you how later. On A1, he cuts the enemy's turn counter under burning. On A2, he cuts the turn counter again. And on A3, he applies HP burn and gives the team an attack buff. This champion should be equipped with the following sets. Speed, swiftness, accuracy, and regeneration. As for stats, keep it simple. Accuracy for debuffs, speed, defense, and HP for survival. Resistance wouldn't hurt either. You can only get this champion through shards, but I have a secret promo code for this champion that's also great for newbies. Raid for Mord. It's an extra incentive to create an account and test this Annihilator in real combat. But wait, there's more to come. Next up is Ultimate Gaelic, also one of the top HP burners. All of his abilities apply this debuff. He also buffs his own attack and reduces the enemy's turn meter. An excellent epic that works well in most PvE content. Compared to Mordecai, his gearing is simpler. Swiftness, speed, accuracy, and crit chance suit him. 
the stat story is very similar. Accuracy for debuffs, speed, HP for survival, and crit chance will also help. There are two ways to obtain Ultimate Gaelic. The first is by summoning shards with a small chance. And the second? Guess what? You can get it for free by clicking on a link in the description after you reach level 25 with the Epic Zargala. Collect it if you want to test the durability of this champion. And the next champion, in case you haven't guessed, is Zargala, a fantastic debuffer and damage dealer in one epic. It's simple, let me show you. Zargala's A1 applies a weakness debuff, A2 attacks twice if it kills the target, and A3 hits all enemies and applies a defense debuff. She excels in modes with more than one opponent, which allows her second ability to trigger frequently. I recommend equipping her with sets for armor, penetration, and also speed for swiftness, accuracy, and crit damage. In terms of stats, focus on maximizing accuracy and speed, crit chance, damage, health, and attack. But why waste time farming them when you can get them for free at level 25? It's easy. Just check the description for a link that includes Ultimate Gaelic and Zargala. Next, you'll meet Taregi the Frog. From personal experience, this frog is a great punching bag. He buffs allies and inflicts heavy debuffs on enemies. His basic attacks on A1 apply an attack debuff. A2 provokes enemies. His passive poisons an enemy if they have a provocate or attack buff, poisoning them. And A3, a support skill, gives all allies a shield even a normal shield, while giving himself a damage reflection buff and healing. Definitely a must-have for newbies and quite useful in the endgame as well. Toregi the Frog should be equipped with speed, agility, health steal, and defense sets. As for stats, he only needs accuracy, speed, health, and defense. Toregi is a pretty rare champion that drops from summoning shards, but newbies can get him for free with the promo code FREEFROG. Next is Rector Drath, another top epic in my selection, an excellent support for her rarity. She excels in the healing and resurrection roles. On A1, she applies an attack penalty, on A2 she heals allies and casts a veil on those who haven't lost even 1% of health, on A3 she resurrects an ally and applies a thick veil for 3 turns. In addition, allies under the veil effect receive healing and and increased resistance. As with any support, priority stats are speed, defense, health, accuracy, and resistance. Recommended gear sets include defense, immortality, speed, dexterity, and accuracy. Right now, it's only available in shards, but I'm preparing something special for my viewers. So, subscribe to the channel and like the video to never miss a new champion. Deacon Armstrong, a top epic in the opinion of most popular bloggers, and frankly, in my own opinion. His essence is stealing turn meters from enemies and replenishing those of allies with his A3 ability. A useful addition would be a Parasite debuff on A1, and the defense debuff from A2 will help allies deal more damage. This champion should be geared in sets for swiftness, speed, and accuracy. The standard stat assembly includes accuracy, speed, health, and defense for survival. Armstrong often appears in summoning shards, but for now there's still a newbie promo code active. Superpowers. For newbies who want to try it out, just check the description and enter the promo code on a new account. Phew, that was quite a lineup. I hope you, the viewer, agree with the selection I made in this video. If not, leave a comment about who should be added. Maybe I'll make a second part with only epics. We'll see how it goes. Now let's move on to the tier list. I've ranked the champions based on my personal impressions, so I don't have low ranking nominations and most champions are at the top of the rating. Maybe you, the viewer, have your own opinion on how they should be ranked. Also, write a comment, we'll discuss it. So how do you like the selection? Cool that most of the champions are available to a newbie right out of the gate. They're easy to equip and relatively versatile. Remember, all the links to the champions and promo codes are in the description. Also, visit the channel for compilations of all the promo codes for newbies and oldies alike. And I highly recommend watching these two videos. See you soon!